Hey, I'm Sarah Snow with another episode of Refreshed. Now here at Refreshed, I'm on a mission to show you that making good food does not have to be difficult or time consuming. So I promise to show you this recipe in under three minutes. It's gonna be hard for me because I like to talk. So this is banana and sunflower seed butter bread. To start off with, I am going to whisk together two eggs, a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm adding to that two tablespoons of oil. I like to use a good quality organic canola oil. Okay, and then I'm adding into that a half of a cup of sunflower seed butter. Now, of course, you could use almond butter, you could use peanut butter. I like sunflower seed butter because it means that Sylvia can take it to her nut-free school and it means that everybody can eat it. A little tip on that oil, if you wanted to make this lower fat, you could replace the two tablespoons with applesauce or even with fat-free Greek yogurt. That's looking great. Now two very ripe mashed bananas are going in. Before I add in the dry ingredients, I'm gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl. Now all I have left to do is to add in my dry ingredients and my milk, three quarters of a cup of milk, which I'm going to add alternating with my dry ingredients, which I already have pre-measured here. I have two cups of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I just whisk it around a little bit to make sure it's all blended. Pour in a little bit of that at the beginning, and then we add in the milk. Now after I've got all my wet and dry ingredients in there, the final step is an optional one and that is a half a cup of raisins. I like the raisins. I think it gives it a nice texture. It also looks really pretty once the bread is baked. And that's it. Super, super quick, super, super easy. Now this I'm going to pour into three mini loaf pans. This recipe will, however, also make one full loaf of bread or 12 muffins. These are greased, so if you're doing mini or full loaf pans, you wanna make sure you grease them ahead of time. And this is going to go into my 375 degree oven for about 20 to 35 minutes, depending on the size of your pan. Then through the magic of pseudo television, I can show you that this is what one of the loaves looks like when it comes out of the oven. Look how beautifully that has risen. You can see the raisins come to the top. It's a really gorgeous bread and so, so delicious. This is a go-to recipe for my family. I hope you enjoy it as well. Mm -hmm.